Okay, so basically, <coughs> these two chickens, I've been brining them, and a brine is just a, uh, you know, a few cups of water, a little sugar, a little salt, a little vinegar, whatever. I added uh, some of this vinegar that I made myself with my own pepper plants, some uh, peppercorns, garlic, and uh, lemon peels. I made that. So a little oil, sugar, salt, paprika. I also added. Uh, what is this? Okay, I also added a little bit of Italian dressing, and even on top of that, I added a little bit of jalapeno juice. And uh, damn it, I can't find it. Here it is. Right here. This is a a, a Thai Thai sweet chili sauce. And it's got a picture of a chicken on it, right? So how can you go wrong? Anyways, I added a, a little bit of that, you know, just to your own flavoring. Tossed it in here, and it's been here for two days, almost two days. I turn them every six hours or so. Here, I made this myself. But you can barely, it's a bunch of, uh, you know, peppers, salt, sugar, paprika, a lot of paprika. Because I like that red color on the bird. I don't know why. Anyways, and then I just cut holes in the top to make it a shaker. But anyways, yeah. A lot of different types of pepper and salt and sugar. Blah, blah, blah. So these guys have been sitting in this for two days, right? Then this is a butter I made with a lemon rind. And there's the lemon. I peeled the rind off. Lemon rind, garlic, paprika, chilies and butter, right? Or or margarine. I use margarine. I call it butter. I'm sorry. I'm stupid. Anyways, I, I loosened these skins. The skins of the chicken, you know, I poked my finger in there and kind of loosened everything around. So, before these go in the oven, they're going to be injected with butter under the skin. Then on the outside, they're going to get a good coating of this because, you know, the inside of the meat never really gets flavored that much. It, even if you marinate them for two days it's still not going anywhere so first they're getting the butter on the inside of the skin the seasoning on the outside of the skin and then I'm going to sit those bastards down on these two cans of, uh, of maybe a quarter can of beer I drank the rest hey it's great and the used lemons that I used for the rind and the juice to make the marinade and the butter so the chickens get seated on that. We're gonna bake them. Here in Japan, your oven doesn't say what temperature. This says what temperature down here. So we're gonna go for a let's go five and a half. So you go five and a half. And don't worry, the gas isn't on yet. S start the gas. There we go. Started. All right. Now five and a half would be between 180 and 200, which is 190. Now, in the last 10 minutes of cooking, I'm going to bump it up to as high as it goes, which would be this is char roasting. I mean, it's fucking hot. So that's for the skin crisping. In the last five minutes. So, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and do the the injecting of the butter and all that bullshit. And uh. I'll show you when I'm done. Okay, so basically now, I took the chickens out. I have injected my fingers into the the chicken meat. There's a bunch of butter right under there, uh, margarine, whatever. You just shove your fingers up inside and do this. And when you get that done, uh, you you stick all this, which was a margarine flavored with paprika, salt, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of vinegar. Uh, a whole bunch of crap, some chilies, whatever. You just, whatever you like, and you shove it up into the skins. What's left, you stick it up on the neck, because that's going to run inside the bird, and the beer cans are going to steam, so, and the, those lemon wedges are also inside, on top of the beer cans. Second step will be getting this, uh, you know, kind of rub thing I made, and, uh, thoroughly coated in the outside like crazy. So here I'm going to do that. Okay, the oven's ready. 
<coughs> these chickens have been thoroughly buttered on the inside and coated with spices. I mean, you coat them like crazy because, you know, like I said, the skin is the, the, the flavor. The meat is basically chicken. So, you have to make sure you put enough spices on it. Otherwise, you're going to get stuck with uh, flavorless chickens. This one, I kind of crushed the beer can because I was trying to push it into them too hard. But anyways, in the oven, and we'll see what they look like in about an hour. Bye-bye. Okay, so these chickens are not anywhere near done, right? Let's see that juice dripping off there. I don't know if you can see it, but they... We got juice dripping off everywhere. Anyways, look at those icicles hanging off of that chicken wing. <laughs> Not icicles on the chicken wing. Anyways, uh, I don't know. I'm thinking about. I'm gonna turn these up to full blast just to brown that skin. I believe the insides are done. The beer cans kind of steam the inside, so uh, they cook much faster than a uh, regular chicken. Uh, anyways, let's give them about ten more minutes. And I'll show you the end product. But next, we're going to show you. Going to show you uh, Connie Son. I don't know, he's kind of hard to see. He's big. Well, I tell you what, he's a big boy. That's my finger right there. Yeah, I'm a little bit closer than he is. He's about as long as... He's longer than my finger from claw to, uh, to tail. But this little bastard... He grew up so much, so quickly. He got big real quick. Uh-oh. Hold on, let's give him some food. Shut up. Okay. There's old Cunny son. Let's give him some food. Whoa! He's an animal. He goes crazy for that food. And he, he ate one fish, yes. He, he killed one of our fish and devoured it. But anyways, he's a killer. So I'm going to feed the fish now. So we'll see you guys later. Okay, so here we go with the removal of the chickens. Let me grab an extra one of these. You have to carefully work it out. And there we go. Two fan, fan roasted chickens. Okay, thank you. Look at that, leg just popped right off. Come on, you bastard. Ugh! Wait! Okay. That's it. Okay, now let's put one of them on a uh, cutting board, so to speak.
That's my part. There's the leg. There's your second leg. Let's go right down the middle with these breasts, it says. And there's the lemon wedge from earlier. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you saw me pop it in there. Oh, come on. Okay. Cut the backbone. And there we go. That's one of the two. Anyways, we're going to enjoy this meal, and you guys just enjoy watching it. Adios.